Let's look at some of the features of the Florp browser. For those unaware, Florp is a fork or clone of Mozilla's Firefox browser. Now, Florp isn't your run-of-the-mill clone of Firefox like most browsers are, but Blaze has put a lot of quality of life enhancements and attention to detail in this browser. So let's check them out. When you start Florp for the first time, you can choose three different layout options. The default, which adds a side panel with shortcuts, advanced, which adds a side panel along with the status bar at the bottom, and basic, which has neither. There are also a few different tab designs you can choose from, including the old Firefox tab style, Chrome-like tabs, and the standard floating tabs found in current Firefox. One of the first things you will notice immediately after setup is new tabs have backgrounds. These backgrounds are photos from Unsplashed. You can customize the backgrounds with your own photos using a folder of images or a single image. Florp also supports animated backgrounds for new tabs. In addition, you can set a gradient for the background or disable backgrounds completely. Florp uses Google Search for normal tabs and DuckDuckGo for private tabs by default. Florp also has suggested search and sponsored suggestions. These can be disabled, however. Mozilla finally added a user-friendly profile manager, but Florp has had this feature for a while now. You can easily create and load different profiles directly from the little profile menu. Florp has more tab options, like closing tabs with a double click and showing titles on pinned tabs. In Florp, you can set how new tabs are opened, either next to the current tab, at the end of the tab bar, or use the default. Florp also supports sleeping tabs, so after a certain amount of time of inactivity, tabs free up resources. Florp has additional performance options for memory use. Florp allows you to open websites in an external browser. Like for example, if a website isn't displaying correctly, you can quickly open that page in another browser like Brave. Florp has additional browsing options like disabling the notice when going full screen mode and moving the find on page bar at the top. In addition to vertical tab support, Florp supports a multi-row tab bar. While Firefox recently added vertical tabs, Florp has had them for a while now and has even more options for how you display them. You can move the bookmarks bar, navigation bar, and tab bar at the bottom. You can auto-hide the bookmark bar, displaying it only when you hover over. Tab backgrounds can take the color of the website's favoricon color. With Florp's split tab feature, you can display two tabs at the same time, either horizontally or vertically. There are options to collapse tree style tabs if you have that extension installed. In Florp, you can give pages rounded corners. The side panel in Florp is completely customizable. Not only that, but you can add websites and have them open in specific containers. Florp supports group tabs in the form of workspaces, and when creating workspaces, you can set which container to use, effectively creating completely different identities within a profile. Florp includes an entire menu for custom keyboard shortcuts. These shortcuts can be used to control tabs, manage history, bookmarks, search, perform actions like zoom, and manage the side panel. Florp has additional options for how to handle files and downloads. You can enable notifications for when files start downloading, finish downloading, or both. Florp supports progressive web apps like Chromium browsers do, a feature Firefox used to support but has since stopped. Florp's privacy and security features are pretty much the exact same as Firefox but there are some additional options for tracking protection that are easily accessible. All Mozilla services and telemetry have been removed from Florp, except Mozilla Sync. With Sync support, you just sign in with your Mozilla account and Florp will appear like any other instance of Firefox, where you can then sync your bookmarks, history, passwords, and more. Compact mode is an available option out of the box. You can add a bit of padding at the top of the browser to make it easier to grab. There is a reopen close tab button in the nav bar. You can easily share websites to your phone with a QR code without needing to sign in and sync. Florp is based off Firefox extended support release, so major Firefox features will come to Florp slower, but security patches are up to date. Despite all the features packed into Florp, in my opinion, this is easily the fastest clone of Firefox that exists. Florp actually feels just as fast as using Chrome or Brave. However, just as some sites won't work well with Firefox, this is also true for Florp. 
especially for some video playback. There are no official mobile apps for Floor, but some good alternatives to Firefox for mobile, at least on Android, are Phoenix and Ironfox, and I've done videos on both apps, so check those out if you're interested. So those are some of the features and changes made in Floor compared to regular Firefox. Check it out.